Hey everyone, I am Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plans. Welcome back for another quarterly planner update. Here I have a massive stack of planners. Some of them I am still using. Some of them are new to this quarter and some of them I am saying goodbye to for a time. So stick around if you want to hear more about each one of these planners. I think we are going to start at the bottom of the stack and work from biggest to smallest. This is the simplified teacher planner that I bought. It was on sale for $10. It's actually the 19 to 20 school year. I am working on redating this for the upcoming school year. I am a part-time music teacher, so I am not currently planning in this yet, but I will start soon. And it will be during quarter three that I will start using this for all of my music plans. Next up, I have my Cultivate What Matters Goal Planner, and I have only been in and out of this a little bit. I haven't been as consistent with this as I would like. I'm hoping to get back into this more. Next up is my Simplified Daily Planner, and I have been loving using this every single day for all of my simple task lists and appointments. I do have my name foiled at the bottom here. And as I said, I have been consistently using this daily with the exception of July. Now I am starting to try and do the one book July. So I am saying goodbye to this just for a little bit here, but I have done a range of things from using sticker kits in the monthly section and in the daily section. Sometimes I will use script stickers or little decoration stickers, but for the most part, it's just a place where I can come and write down things really quickly. Then the rest of the planners that I have are all Hobonichi, either notebooks or day freeze or cousin of X. This first one is a Hobonichi A5 day free, and this is the one that I use for our budgeting and reconciling. So I have just all of our accounts or cards that I need to reconcile. I have a spot for each of those in this little book, and that is very helpful keeping everything together. And this one also hasn't changed. This is the memory book where I like to print out little pictures and write down little memories for our family, things that I want to remember. This last book is my book for all of my Etsy things. This is another Hobonichi Day Free, and I just had it cut and spiraled at Office Max. And it is where I keep everything for Mandy Lynn plans. And it has been extremely helpful having this little book to keep track of everything. Then the last two planners are new additions this quarter. This one I also had spiral bound. This is my everything camp notebook. It is a Hobonichi date free. I just put a simple binder clip on it. I thought it tied in the pink really well. And I am just using this strictly as a throw everything down to do's very bullet journal type setup. Lots of notes and things that I need to get done for camp. And if you missed my other video, I have recently fallen in love with these Sarasa Grand pens. They have the great quick dry ink. It's not quite as quick on the Tomoe River paper, but it also has a heavy weighted barrel. So I will link those. I was really excited when I found those. And then my last little book is my Hobonichi Cousin Avec, July to December. And I have this set up for my one book July. So I just put a Midori MD notebook A5 cover on it with some scrapbook paper so that I can switch it out if I'm feeling like it. And then I just have my Ollie clips clipped here so that I can easily flip to all of my sections. And I'm going to be using the daily pages as intended, at least for the foreseeable future or until I change my mind. So I hope you enjoyed that really quick run through of all of the planners that I am currently using at this time, or I am going to say goodbye to for a short period. I would love to know as always what you are using down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Are you again?